I, well, the, for this award, I, I guess I saw my name on the ballot, but didn't really think that I had a chance at winning. And, you know, I, I was like, yes, it's good to be a nominee, but I honestly didn't think that I was going to win this award. And I can't believe that I did. I can't believe that the fans did that for me. Everybody on MySpace, they're the reason why I am holding this award right now. And I have some things that I've really been looking forward to doing uh, at the beginning of the year. I'm going to the UK again. I'm doing a tour there. I'm going to Australia. And I'm going to Japan, so I'm really excited about that. And uh, then when I get back, I'm starting my headlining tour in May, and I just, I can't wait. The Grammys, I'm actually getting to co-host the nominations special, so that's the first time they're televising that. I'm really excited about that. Um, honestly, you never want to, you never want to be presumptuous about nominations or awards, so I just don't assume that I'm going to get anything, and then if you do, then it's a good day. That way you have fun regardless of what happens. Well, I have family that I spend every Thanksgiving with. Uh, they're all on my mom's side, and they're all women, and they're really loud. They're obnoxiously loud, and they all have this genetic cackle, It's and they stand in the kitchen, and it's the loudest sound. It, like, breaks noise barriers, and it's, like, it's, like, out of a movie. I mean, my, my cousins have, like, 49 cats and dogs, and it's, it's really fun to go there and have somewhere I know I'm going to be every Thanksgiving. Yeah, all the girls got together, and we decided that we were going to say happy birthday to Miley backstage, and I thought she nailed it tonight. Oh my gosh, it was amazing when they had the body double, and everyone was like, that's Miley. And they're like, no, that's Miley. It was awesome. I thought she completely owned it. Well, I'm really lucky to have collaborated with Colby Kelly on my album, and I'm really proud of that song. And I think a good collaboration is when it makes sense, you know? And so I I love hip-hop. I really do. And when Lil Wayne showed up playing guitar on the CMAs the other day, I was like, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I, was, I think I was the only one who caught it. I was like, that's Lil Wayne! So that would be cool. I'm really, really into him. I'm really attracted to sparkly things and sparkly dresses that goes for that too. So when I see, you know, I've got a rack of dresses I can pick from, I'm usually going to pick the sparkly one. Rascal Flatts has certainly always treated me just with this amazing amount of kindness. And they were, they were like three uncles to me. Um, you know, they would prank me, they would, you know, make fun of me, but they were absolutely the kind, most kind people to me. It was wonderful. Being a good role model is something that, you know, I really, really take seriously. I think that what some people don't realize is that when you put one song out or you put one movie out and one person likes it, you're a role model. And you can either accept it or you can ignore it. And I just, I choose to accept it and, and be thankful for it because it's really an honor.